Dave Berry, your resident road safety expert from Mobility Engineering, back again for another Q&A. Thank you very much, as always, for sending in your questions. We love them and keep them coming. Uh, and as I always say, hit that subscribe button that looks a bit like this pillow that's somewhere down there. Help us and give us some love and support on getting us to 1,000 subscribers. We love, love, love your work for the ones that have already subscribed and for those that haven't, hit that button and get on board. Today we've got a very special one. We've got Amit here, our products expert, to help us with a question that we've got around the Carfix bus harness. So I'll just get rid of my pillow. Um, the Carfix bus harness is a uh, half behavioral, half postural harness. It's sort of used for a little bit of both um, and can also be used uh, for basically guiding, uh, basically helping with um, seat belts and positioning and things like that, which we'll show you as we're installing it. The question that came around this harness is, as you can see, and particularly when you look at it on the videos and you look at it, it can kind of be a little bit daunting, which is um, kind of like a lot of products in our industry. So what we like to do is um, show that they are actually pretty easy to use or pretty simple. Um, you just have to know, I guess, what to do. And that's the purpose of this video. The, the question came in was, how does this harness work and how do you sort of set it up? It's a bus harness. And so what we've actually set up is a bus seat. So this seat here is the seat of a, um, Toyota highest commuter. So the Toyota highest commuters are the most common buses that you see in your group homes and, and most of the facilities that would use this harness. So we've got this set up on a little frame and what we're going to do is I'm going to sit there and be the, the occupant and Amin's going to basically show us and talk us through how it all works. And then um, you'll get an idea of how it fits and basically hopefully that answers your question. So over to Amin. Hey, how's it going? So the first step for installing this harness, uh, the occupant uh, will not be sitting into the, in the seating position uh, as we have to install the harness prior to the occupant being in the seat. So the five point harness when it's reversed looks something like this. The, the strap I'm holding in my left hand is the crutch strap which we would first feed through the gap between the squab and the back of the seat. So this is what we call the squab, this is the back of the seat, and this is the gap that we have in between that we need to feed this belt through. So you open the harness like so, put that onto the front of the seat, and feed this buckle between this gap. Once the buckle is fed through and it's on the other side, the client can now proceed to sit into the seating position. Usually with the harness, we just leave it um, as is flopped onto the front of the seating position. The harness, the occupant will sit into the harness, then we'll lift this area here, and it's important to hold these uh, components in your hand so that you don't accidentally injure someone while you're um, installing the harness. So we hold the hard bits into our hand, and we'll pull the harness over the client's head and the headrest, and then continue to buckle this one up. So this one will then match up with that buckle that we fed through, and that will click into place as so. Then, from the front of the harness, we've got the two straps that go around the occupant. Now here, going around the occupant, it is also important to um, have the seat belt part clear. So on this side, we've got nothing on the side of the seat, so we can feed that around. On this side, we've got the seat belt, so we want to slightly pull the seat belt out, feed that through, and then come from behind and attach the two, um, two clicks on the side. So now we've got the harness installed onto the seat. And the last part is the seat belt onto the occupant. So as you can see from the front here, the harness is on the occupant, secured five point. And then we proceed to bring the seat belt. Around the client, clicked in, and the harness is now completely secured to the client and to the seat. So yeah, that's basically how it installs. And a couple of things I want to mention here. Number one, very important, this and pretty much every single harness on the market is made to be used in conjunction with the seatbelt. So you cannot use it without the seatbelt, you've always got to have the seatbelt on. The second thing I was talking about with the seatbelt is a lot of times what we find this harness has been useful for a lot of clients because as you see here it kind of um, doesn't have lots of different straps, it's just one big surface and some clients find it kind of uncomfortable having these straps on them so this kind of gives them that buffer and, and doesn't sort of help it helps from the strap not kind of digging, the seatbelt strap not digging into their skin. And we found that actually does help with that, that uh, I guess, that issue, if you'd like. So yeah, that's a nice and quick and easy video, very quick and easy uh, harness to install. 
Thank you very much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that button down there. Now I have to figure out a way to get out of here. Um, and I think if, if I'm really snazzy, I can probably do it, but in this case, I can't. Some people can reach around, so you just got to uh, just got to be careful with that. As I said, it's not a full behavioral harness. It can be sometimes, but if you are able to get your hand around and really figure it out, which some people can, um, that's not what it's for. It's a, it's a kind of a combination of things, and it's called a bus harness because it wraps around the top of the seat and the side of the seat, and it needs individual seats like this one here, like the bus seats. And yeah, so that's basically it. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for sending your questions. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks to Evan for the help, and see you next time.